Hello everybody, welcome back to World of Warplanes. Yes, that's right, we are actually starting uh, a video series because, well, the last World of Warplanes video I did was actually surprisingly popular. Hopefully that continues, uh, but this is our road to Tier 10, or flight path to Tier 10 if you want to be technical. We decided to go for the LA-15, which is a plane that can be found in War Thunder. And I know I said I wanted to go after one that wouldn't be found in War Thunder, but I wasn't really grinding out a Russian tech tree, and I quite fancied it. I'm mostly doing it for the one plane that you can't find in War Thunder, which is the LA-160, which I think looks really, really cool. So we're going to go with that one. So technically, this is more of a road to Tier 9. Right now, we're flying in the Tier 3 I-16 Ishak. This is specifically the early version. There is a version at Tier 4. Um, it's not a bad little light fighter. Very small, very agile. No HP whatsoever. Um, to be honest, not a lot of speed either. Um, this is fully upgraded. So we've got the improved firepower. You can see those long guns on the wings, which are 12.7 millimeters. And we have um, two 7.62 millimeters uh, in the actual fuselage or in the nose as well. We also have two rockets which are nice and believe it or not rockets are actually quite useful in this game unlike in War Thunder. I shouldn't compare them too much but um, this just gives uh, the War Thunder audience on my channel which is fairly large compared to all the other audiences on the channel. Uh, it gives them something to talk about I guess. And rockets away. There they go. Alright. Let's see if we can take over this airfield. Stay alert, pilots. Large enemy force spotted over the airfield. Give me them hits. Give me them hits. Yeah, that's good, 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 good. A little bit more. Boom. The airfield is ours. There we go. Now that we have the airfield, we can start working on the enemy players themselves. Something I have been told is that even though a lot of these guys have default names like Colin here, for example, they are not all bots, actually. It, um, apparently, you can also get a default name like that if you anonymize yourself. Because uh, I have seen bots talking in chat, and I'm pretty sure that is something they can't do. And someone did inform me that it is a way of being able to tell. I mean, you can't tell, but it is someone using an anonymized name. There are bots here as well, of course, but, um, you know, it just shows that people do play this game. Ooh, we're going to stall out soon. Can we get him in time? Oh, no. We've stalled. Speed, quick. And bam. There's another kill. Good stuff. Good start. Where's this guy I think he's going? We can leave the airfield B for now. Not much going on, but they are trying to take back the garrison. And I don't really want that to happen. They have two attack aircraft. I don't even know what a Pegasus is. Sounds English, but I didn't know they had any strike aircraft at this tier. Let's have a closer look. Or is it Russian? I can't tell. No, he's going to die before I get there. Yeah, I think it's that's a Russian plane. I just didn't think it was called Pegasus. Yeah, it is Russian. Oh, it's dead. That's what it is. Now for the TSH-2, which is a very big, very slow biplane. Look at the size of that thing. And another kill for the team. Let's go. Looks like we might actually win this one. That's what we like to hear, although we are on the verge of losing the airfield, but oh well, maybe we could take it back. At least we're winning. And there goes the airfield. Oh dear. An I-15 BIS DM. I'm learning about lots of new aircraft that I don't know about, because there are the ones that you get in the tech tree, then there are the premium, and then you have the premium or event ones that just don't show up in the tech tree. So eventually you'll come across a vehicle that like you just haven't seen before, like this thing. I don't know, have I seen that one before? I thought that was the one with the ramjets on it, but I think that was an I-153. Yes, there is a jet plane with the with there is a jet biplane in this, which I find hilarious. I do have it actually. Maybe I'll do a video on it. 
eventually. At the moment, expect um, the World of Warplanes videos to be mostly about our road to tier 10. Or tier 9, technically, but, you know. Don't worry, War Thunder fans, this is not going to replace the War Thunder content. It'll just be, like, something in addition. Maybe each time I unlock a new aircraft, you'll maybe get one video on each plane up the tech tree. Maybe two if it's, like, taking longer at the higher tiers. Are we in first? We are in first! Well, I'll be. The War Thunder experience does pay off. Unfortunately, there's nothing to drop our rockets on at the moment, because we are in control of everything. Okay. We're getting pretty close to their spawn, actually. Let's go after Jesse again. And wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. There you go. There's another kill. Whoa, cheeky. Don't ram me. We get a rocket kill, maybe. Ah, oh, not quite. But at least we won. Ooh, a plethora of awards. And this was my daily double win, so I'll take that. How much closer did that get me to the next I-16, the Polycarpov I-16 Ishak? Not a bad load of aircraft, actually. Not super fast, but very small, very agile. Nice, healthy amount of XP. Trying not to burn all our free XP. So the next options are the I-17, which looks interesting. Or another I-16, which looks cool. And it gets 20 mils, yes. Oh, they both get 20 mils, but still. I just really like looking at... You know, a plane game with planes I've never seen before. I think it's fascinating. So, as I said, we'll be going for the LA-15, which is personally, admittedly, not a plane that I'm uber excited about. I'm excited about this thing, because look at that. <laughs> it's just funky looking. Um, the alternative option was uh, the Yak-19, uh, because that thing looks really interesting. And admittedly, the Yak-30 is more interesting than the, Yak the LA-15. Someone did recommend this line, because these are pretty cool. Um, but I didn't really feel too keen on just going down all the 190s. I could skip across like that, I think. Uh, no, I can't. Never mind. Yeah. Um, didn't fancy playing all the 190s, that's all. We'll do. Well, maybe we'll do another road to tier 10. Um, let's get ourselves the new i16 then. We do have to spend a little bit of free XP, but not really much. We're not worrying about crews because, as you can see, having a pretty bad crew isn't actually affecting our performance. I like that. It doesn't feel as... I mean, it's quite satisfying having a very good crew in World of Tanks, but uh, it's not as hampering to have a bad crew in World of Warplanes, unless you come across another player, basically. So this is our new I-16. There's our old I-16, so not a lot of difference, just slight visual changes. Is there anything... Ooh, we got some modules that we can fit to it already from previous lines. So now we can carry three rockets, and we can carry 20 millimeter cannons. Yes, please. That's a bit more deadly. Any snazzy paint jobs? Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, it's tempting, it's tempting. That looks nice. That's sort of classic I-16, or classic late I-16 there. That's just brown. White. Blue. Is that blue? Don't know. And um, sort of desert pink, actually, which is interesting. If I had to buy one, it would be that or that. Ooh, I don't know. But anyways, you might see a video on that um, next time. So, yeah, that was the I-16 Ishak early. Uh, a funny old thing. Good little plane would recommend and I'm enjoying this so I hope you're enjoying this playthrough as well um, let me know down in the comments below what you think do you have any more suggestions uh, and of course uh, if you like this video do hit the like button show support on the channel by subscribing as well and of course I'll catch you in the next one